Good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining us. Uh, we're really excited. The people at the chamber here are very excited to tell you about uh, health benefits that we're offering. We started this partnership with PHP a few months ago, and we wanted to roll it out so people understand how beneficial it can be. Um, now, as a chamber, we consider ourselves pretty good at connecting and convening people, whether it's people, businesses, we bring a lot of people together to help them grow their business. But the other thing we like to do is bring value to chamber members. And there's all kinds of ways we can do that, but offering health benefit discounts is really an important step. I know it's uh, been something I've been working on for years to get a program to offer to members because it gives you a competitive advantage. You as a, an employer, you can tell people you offer health benefits. It might help you with retention, which is really important right now. It's just an advantage to hiring people and keeping people. And you know, the other thing it does, it keeps your employees healthy. And that's really important. If, if your staff is kind of tight, having them there and healthy because you offer health benefits is important. So these ladies are gonna walk us through the program tell us all about it, and at the end, we'll answer any questions you may have. And if you need anything uh, during or at the end of the broadcast, my name is Rick Zeef. I'm from the South Bend Regional Chamber, and I'd be happy to help. So I will turn it over to Erica, I believe. Actually, Jen. Hey, thanks, Rick, for the introduction. Uh, again, I'm Jennifer Mitchin with PHP. Um, our agenda today is gonna be pretty brief. We're gonna just give you a little bit of background about PHP, a little bit of background and overview of this discount program, and then open it up to Q&A. We uh, are gonna keep it pretty high level, so we don't take a lot of your time. I know everyone's busy. Um, and then hopefully we can answer any questions. So from Q&A standpoint, you guys, um, if, you wanna, if you have any questions during the presentation, we encourage you to enter those into the chat and we will either address them at the end or individually, depending on what the question is, okay? So again, I'm Jennifer Mitchin. I'm a regional director for PHP, which basically just means I'm a sales rep. Uh, my job is to um, cover this work with, primarily work with brokers and local organizations in the South Bend area to help grow our presence there. Um, so who's PHP? Not sure. It's weird in Fort Wayne because everybody's already heard of PHP, but we're based in Fort Wayne, uh, up in South Bend. It's, you know, some people have heard of us, some people haven't. But again, we're basically a group health insurance company, and that's it. Of course, based in Fort Wayne, we do things a little bit differently. Um, but again, we were created by some local physicians who were, and this was over 40 years ago, or already saying we need to do something different and better. Um, so as of today, we serve over 1,200 employers in Northern Indiana. Again, we're still based out of Fort Wayne. We have almost 200 employees now here at our office. Uh, but what makes us really different is that we are a not-for-profit insurance company, the last one left in Indiana. So what that means is that our revenues help fund our PHP Foundation, which does provide annual grants to local charitable organizations in Northern Indiana who are focusing in the healthcare space. That also means we don't have shareholders. We are governed by a board of, director, board of directors, which is comprised of local physicians as well as business leaders. And we do have representation uh, from physicians and business leaders in the South Bend area as well as Fort Wayne. Kind of the overview. All right, so what makes us different? Well, uh, I think the obvious is that we are local, a local Indiana-based health insurance company. If you call our customer service number, somebody in Fort Wayne, Indiana will answer. I like to brag on this, but I think our current average hold time right now, if you call in, whether you're a member, a provider, a broker, or an employer, any of the above, our average hold time right now, I think, is about three seconds. So you literally get a physical person on the phone and the goal is that you don't even get transferred. Most of the time they are going to try to answer your questions and uh, provide you that personal service. Again, you know, we, we wanna be accountable, we wanna be responsive. At the end of the day, we really just wanna do the right thing for our employers and our members. 
um, which is a little different than some of our competitors, but at the end of the day, again, the big thing to take away about PHP is that, again, we're local based out of Fort Wayne, and we are a nonprofit health insurance company. So with that being said, I'm going to turn it over to my colleague, Erica Hines. She is our Level Solutions product guru, and she's going to walk you through how the plan works. Thanks so much. Yes. Hi, everybody. So I'm going to keep it pretty high level today. I'm assuming that um, people might know a little bit, but I don't want to assume that people know everything. So I'm going to keep a high level. Like again, how Jen had mentioned, there is a chat option. So if you do have any questions, please enter those in the chat. Or hopefully, you know, um, you already have some sort of relationship with Jen or myself where you can call in and ask us anything. So this is this is just the generality of our level solutions product, um, how it's different than the ACA product, but also how it's similar. So we're just going to kind of talk about the landscape of our you know current insurance world um, the new product opportunity that php has come up with of course the chamber discount partnership which is just i think it's a really cool way to be involved in the community and also get a little bit of a discount for um showing that involvement for just the level solutions product and then we'll do a little network a very high network overview for the south bend elkhart kosciuszko county that that area um, for PHP and then just some additional services. So um, as we as we probably all know, about 2010 is when the Affordable Care Act became effective and it kind of changed the landscape. So before we were able to have that underwriting um, option for any size groups, then the ACA came into effect and it wanted to make sure that there were certain protocols, certain things that were put on health insurance plans that benefited the person who was getting the health insurance. So we eliminated the pre-existing conditions. We set deductible limitations. We required policies to cover the preventative care in hopes that people took better initiatives to get that preventative care every single year. Um, and then we also increased the dependent age to 26 because there was an also a big uptick in college students. Um, and then we also asked the employers to contribute 50% of the premium for their employees. Now, as we kind of also know, um, for dependents on the plan, they can contribute if they would like to or not. With that, to kind of keep it in that fair and structured plan design, it it's a community rate. So we have, it's based off of age, including the dependents. It's based off of where you are. Um, and then it's also based off of what type of plan that you want. With that, it was working great. It is great. It's a great product. I mean, it's very structured. It's very matter of fact. You know what your premiums are going to be, but sometimes you just have those really healthy groups. You have a group that um, could benefit from the underwriting abilities that we used to have. Thus came the level funded product plan designs. These are ERISA plans, so we can be a little, um, we have a little bit of ability to kind of manipulate or make these plans a little more personal to the group and the employees of that group. Um, and then they are also, um, they're kind of like the segue between a fully insured and a self-funded plan. So they're also a really good opportunity for a group who might be thinking about going self-funded at some point to kind of dip their toes in and see if they like managing the claims funds, having the reporting features and all that stuff. PHP came out with their own plan specific to PHP, our demographics, our, our book of business, and also plan designs that can still keep that um, intimate level of communication that PHP really likes to have. Thus, the 260 number when you call into customer service. So we have Level Solutions products. These are four groups from five to 100 enrolled employees. Um, we like to kind of market it towards the five to 50 because that is the ACA bracket. And that's also what is traditionally not underwritten because your large group will be medically underwritten. So again, it's just, it's a medically underwritten product for another opportunity outside of those ACA community rating factors. Um, there is a potential savings and premiums. Now this is all dependent on the health and the demographics of the um, employees in your organization. It does allow for some more plan design flexibility. We can do more extensive RX coverage, so we can get those injectables, specialty drugs. You do get quarterly reporting, so the employer or whoever does um, the plan administration will be able to get 
reporting from PHP that shows how their group is operating. Are they going to the right hospitals? Are they seeing in network doctors? Are they using um, the right prescriptions? Just stuff to kind of keep accountability on how your plan is working and making sure that um, the information that the group needs, you're, you're giving them that. And then again, to the employee, um, the Level Solutions product will look and feel just like an ACA. They will pay their premiums, however you guys set it up, bi-weekly, weekly, monthly, however it's done. They will still have their ID card from PHP that says PHP. Nothing for the employee itself will feel any different than what they already had. So how Level Solutions works, um, it's your plan. It's developed for you and your employees. You pay for a cost that um, is incurred by your employees, so you do have that claims fund bucket. But the part about the Level Solutions is it's, it's, it's locked in. So you're not going to pay based off of um, other unforeseen circumstances that might evolve from the membership of your group. And then PHP assists you with the plan and helps does the administration work for you? So if you were to talk to myself or talk to Jen or talk to Ross or talk to someone in PHP about a level solutions product, we would help in the administration. So it is a little bit different in the back behind the scenes, but we're here to help make sure that for you as the employer, you don't have to be responsible for stuff that you might not be comfortable with. We can do that for you. This is kind of what I was mentioning. So while it's still looks and feels to the employee like an ACA plan, it has the things that a self-funded plan does. So it does have the claims funding. It does have that stop loss coverage. So it will protect you against very high or large individual claims. Again, those unforeseen health circumstances that are kind of those tragic or catastrophic, this plan does have the stop loss coverage in there to protect you from having to pay for those. And then there's also the administration piece because while we're here, um, we do do the administration for you, so you don't have to do a lot of that yourself. And then the claims experience, it might vary. Um, some years it's going to be maybe really heavy for one thing and lighter on the other, but your payments will remain the same. It is still a set premium per each member that will carry on through the entire year. It doesn't change based off of their medical history that might happen in the, or medical needs that might happen in the middle of the year. And then there's also a potential for a refund because the claims funding that you're doing is your dollars. They're your premium dollars that you're funding your own employer-sponsored medical plan with. I talk fast too, I apologize. Now we're getting into the Chamber Discount Program, which is, it's cool. It's just, it's a way for groups in the community to be involved in their chambers and um, then get, you know, kind of a little bonus for being involved in those. So this says like level solutions can save you up to 30% over your traditional ACA plan, meaning those healthy, younger, non-high claim groups, getting you out of those community rates could potentially save you a lot on premium dollars. And then the 5% discount. So no matter what, no matter how healthy or unhealthy or the demographics of your group, if you chose to do a level solutions product through PHP, and we're also a member of the chamber, you automatically get the 5% discount. And you will get that year over year, as long as you continue your chambership, your chamber membership. Um, and then this is just, you know, these are a couple of real life, um, and we're gonna, we're gonna have all this for you so you can go back and review everything, but this is um, real life situations from PHP when we started this partnership. So you can see that it does, it does have the, the savings factors in there. More so with that, this program is for the employers with a five to 50 enrolled. You do have to have five enrolled members to be eligible for a Level Solutions product. Um, for PHP, it's, it's the new or renewing groups. So say you were currently with PHP in an ACA plan and we gave you a level solutions proposal, you really liked it, everyone was cool with it. Technically, you're still renewing with PHP, but you're switching to that product line, so you will get the discount. Um, even if your level solutions product, um, even if you are currently enrolled in a level solutions product with PHP, at your effective date or your renewal date, if you're a member, you will get that 5% discount.
um, but it's required before or on the effective date of coverage. And then it's for the level solutions product only. So it's not for our large group um, products or our ACA products because those are not managed by ERISA. This is um, something I really wanted to like, I really wanted to touch on this with everybody. So as Jen had mentioned, PHP has a very, very heavy presence in Allen County, DeKalb, our surrounding counties, a little bit lower, Grant County, um, all the way to Indianapolis. We do have a good book of business on the west side of um, the state, but I don't know if people know that the two major hospital systems, we have those as in network. So our network coverage in your area is very robust, very high level, very like it's it would be a very rare one-off situation that you wouldn't find a provider that you're traditionally going to not in our network. And then we have the PHCS multi-plan network for out-of-state employees. So if you are predominantly, you know, 60% of your um, employed population is in Indiana, but then you have those two outliers. Maybe you have a couple in Chicago or a couple in Michigan. We do have the PHC network, so we can offer coverage, um, network coverage for those individuals as well. Um, and this goes for our um, point of service and HMO. There is an options network, but that's a little different. But our um, our Freedom Network does contain the St. Joe Health System and the Beacon Health System. Some of the things that I wanted to mention also is with the Level Solutions product, it you still get the benefits um, that our ACA and our large group plans have. So you get the online wellness program and coaching, you get the telehealth programs, you get the minors 24-7, you can read through those, but everything that your current groups get with the ACA plans or the large group plans, they also get with this. It's still a PHP product. It's just a newer evolving product for us. And then I'm kind of wrapping up. So like, if you have any questions, please feel free to you know, ask those. But um, if you do want to know more, if you do have a group that you think might be a great candidate, if you do want to learn a little bit about the quoting requirements and all of that, there are options for you. So you can call us directly with the extension. You can call a toll-free number if you would like, or you can email sales. And when I when I say you can email sales, that is an inbox for every person who is involved in our sales, sales process. So somebody's going to get it, whether it's me or Jen or Ross or implementation team or Michelle, like it is a, it's not just an inbox that sits somewhere, it's a place for all of us. So we make sure that we contact whomever reaches out to us immediately. And then all of our product information can also be found on our site, which is that phpni.com. And then this is our last slide. Again, it's, you know, thank you for attending. Um, I'm going to flip it back over to Jen in just a second, but um, if you have any questions, please, please reach out. We have so many materials or I love talking about it. I think it's a really cool feature, a really cool product for us. Um, it's, our, some, our groups are loving it. So I'm more than happy to talk through it, talk about anything that you guys might need. So just feel free to reach out whenever you would like. Um, but that being said, I am going to, let Jen take it back and I hope you guys have a great day. Awesome, thanks so much, Erica. Mm -hmm. uh, one question I had <clears throat> was, what if I already work with an insurance broker um, on my health benefits now? Uh, so just to answer that question, unless you wanna hit, hit it, Erica, but we obviously partner with brokers in, all over the state of Indiana, including local brokers up in the South Bend area. So if you have a broker or you know a health insurance broker, feel free to reach out to them. They know how to get a hold of us, trust me, um, to get a quote for you. Um, and we obviously will be uh, partnering with our broker partners to help roll out this program as well. Our broker partners who are members of the chamber, right, Is it, right Rick? Yes, I'm um, glad you mentioned that. Yes. And then one other question I saw was, how do I get a quote? So I think Erica addressed that a little bit, but number one, First of all, if you have a broker, feel free to reach out to them and they know what to do. Number two, you can email the sales at phpni.com for more information. I don't see many other questions in the chat. Um, Rick, did you have anything else you wanted to add? No, I uh, think you put it all together and I think people just need to look at it. If they have questions, 
If they want more information, they can always call me and I can put you in touch with these ladies too. But uh, it's an mm-hmm. opportunity to save money, make your employees happy, and hopefully retain them. Mm-hmm. And it's it's a really good way to get premium rates that match the demographics of your organization. So it, it's, I just, I always reiterate, it's a way to get out of those community rating factors and potentially do the savings. And then when you add the chamber discount on top of it for the partnership, I mean, it's, I think the average is the cost to join the chamber. You're going to save that day one for premiums. Like it's already the amount that you save on the 5% of your total monthly premium is already more than the chamber membership cost itself. So you're, you're automatically getting your return on investment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Well, with no other questions, we'll go ahead and wrap up today. Thanks so much again, Rick and South Bend Regional Chamber for partnering with PHP to roll out this program. We love everything that you guys do up there and we're excited to continue to work together. Thanks again, Erica, for your presentation and we'll see you guys soon. Thanks.